Peace of Christ to all. Uh, this video actually, somebody sent me this link, which is funny, you know, uh, Muslims, they are talking about me. Uh, but uh, I think it's an old post, but uh, Muslims, they keep posting and talking about the issue. Uh, they are saying, Christian Prince from Pearl Talk. I have just a few, so a few of his debates on YouTube, and I was wondering what you guys uh, thought of his debates. Seem like all Muslims I have seen uh, him debate, he has uh, uh, utterly destroyed them, except in the case where one pointed out some uh, pornography in the Bible, he did not uh, know how to answer that one. Uh, this is false, by the way, because simply there is no pornography in the Bible. This is number one. Uh, if, if they want to talk about the song of song of song, it's a song of a king. This is not God talking. This is the way he expressed himself, speaking about the city of Jerusalem. This is not about women. This is not about sex. And uh, uh, if you don't like my answer, this is your business and your problem. Uh, however, you can always see things as pornography. You know, Muslims, they can look at the shoes of a woman and they can see in there a vagina. Excuse my, excuse my language, but this is how it is. You know, it's about like uh, 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 the eyes you have is connected to your brain. And uh, if you want to see something as something you want to see, is going to be what you want to see. Um, so Muslims, if they are honest, they should go and see what the Muslims, what the Christians, they themselves believe in that. And then if they believe it's pornography, it's about pornography, then it is about pornography. Now here Muslims, they are answering. Uh, this this Abdul, he says, and by the way, the one who's asking the question here is a Muslim himself. His name, I am a Muslim. Uh, you know, I'm a Muslim. Anyway, so here down, the Muslims, they are they are complaining about how they can debate me. Uh, he debate, uh, or <coughs> his debate is one-sided. He controls the room. When you start to gain a round, he cuts you off uh, and make demands. Uh, when I first reverted to Islam, suppose this guy is a convert, there's nothing, it's called reverted because uh, a Muslim is different religion, have nothing to do with Christianity. So you don't say the word reverted, this is a deception. Um, anyway, we will assume that he is saying the truth. Uh, uh, and then he said, <clears throat> at that time, I still believe uh, Paul was a prophet. Now this guy, he, he, he look how, how uh, uh, stupid the Muslims are. He converted to Islam, still he think Paul is a prophet. But the fact that the Quran says Paul is a prophet still. So you're still dummy and still ignorant. And, uh, and ignorant how he run his room. Uh, I accepted an invite, and it was, you can read it, you know, it's very funny. Uh, you know, uh, the Muslim response about, about this. Uh, then someone here, he's saying, Uh, this guy, he, he's talking about his debate. Computer crashed multiple times during discussion after I tried to get back last time. I said forget. Yeah, so this guy, he, he did not run away, but his computer crashed. Uh, be careful of associating with them. Uh, so this guy, he is sending you a verse to warn you not to associate with me. Dangerous. Uh, I, I thought I have my own understanding of what CB asked you the first video. Can you attempt to answer the question here? <laughs> this guy is just a, is, is, is a, and he's a Muslim. His name is a student of Allah. He's saying, well, uh, CP is not here. Still, what about you answer the question he gave you? You see? His name is a student of Allah. So what about now? Okay, CB, he was debating you. He was not fair in the chat room with you, etc. So can you can you answer here? No, for sure. Uh, another video. Uh, I saw uh, this video as well. His point of Allah is Satan. It's very weak since you can argue that Jesus did not make all believers uh, either. Uh, no, no, no. You see, the Muslims, they are very uh, funny in their mind. When we say Allah is Satan, it's about his teaching and his act. Jesus never teach to deceive and never and never deceive anyone. When the Quran says that Allah, the one who he misguide, no one can guide, that is Satan, Shaitan, and he is more evil than Shaitan himself. There is nowhere Jesus, he misguide anyone. Jesus, he came to save, not to misguide. But obviously the Quran say clearly that Allah is the one who misguide 
and the one he him is guide there is no guidance for him so how you can compare not smart we continue <clears throat> uh, so it's simply like you know let us say the Muslims they are debating me in a form but I wonder why they don't come and debate me in the chat room you know when they claim that I don't give them time to talk this is false I stop Muslims from talking when they go out of the topic because Muslims are usual you ask them about potato they speak about tomato uh, and actually this is why you have to uh, to use some tricks to talk to Muslims to force them to answer uh, anyway uh, I my advice to the Muslims if your God is a truthful all right and if you are a person who trusts your God and you have a scholar to debate me I have an offer for you and this offer nobody can mute anyone it's not a chat room we can broadcast our talk over Skype like I can give you my Skype you call me but you have to be a scholar I'm not going to debate kids all right I need to know what is your qualification like are you an imam of a mosque <clears throat> where Muslims they know you as an as a teacher etc not a kid you wanna you know uh, I, I don't have time for this if you are a kid just come to my room uh, if you are a scholar and you claim to have knowledge uh, we can have a debate uh, either over Skype or even we can have it in our radio show which is going to be every Saturday like today you know a few hours from now at nine o'clock New York time our, our radio show start in block talk radio you can call over the phone and uh, simply uh, you know you can uh, just uh, bring it bring it on and let us see how good you are this is a phone and this is Nored, Nored dot and you can prove us wrong and you can even show share in the block talk radio you can share uh, your evidence your reference etc in the chat room All right so you can use both uh, this is the benefit of it you can post both however my chat room is always open and I don't see any Abdul they are ready to come and debate me until they come and if they come they regret as we see in this forum here they are complaining crying out saying why I could not make it coming with all the excuses but the fact there is a there is no answer uh, uh, here he said like this guy I'm actually I don't want to like uh, read it all for you but if you see the, their comment it's really funny Christian Prince proved his point at the very beginning by hearing what he wanted to hear refusing to listen so you just said I proved my point okay uh, those who love life who refuse to submit their will to Allah uh, will be misguided by Satan okay uh, so so okay those who love life this life who refuse to submit to Allah will be misguided by Satan and he will lead them astray all right but the verse the Quran says the opposite the Quran says that shaitan he did not really mislead anyone it was Allah if we go right now to the Quran all right and we just make a little search uh, here sorry <coughs> Uh, if you read this verse with me uh, if Allah he wanna uh, misguide someone if you wanna guide someone he open his chest which mean which mean he make him uh, see things clear but if you want to misguide him he simply he closes his chest you know read it uh, this is not my translation all right uh, this is whom Allah he in his plan was to guide so Allah have a plan for some people to guide he opened their breast which is a chest not a breast to Islam and those who him will to leave astray or strain he make their breast close so he is the one who must guide them actually the translation is very funny what breast you idiot this Yusuf Ali is really is, a, is a, I think he's taking hashish right now I'm working in translation of the Quran that's why you see each translation is different from the other one all right now again this guy is, is a breast you know Sadrahu Sadr, Sadr is not a breast 
stupid Abduls, all the translators. The word Sadr in Arabic is not a breast, it is the chest. Breast is, is the breast. In Arabic we call it Athda, Thadiyahu. Stupid Abdul, a Pakistani guy, he want to translate the Quran. What do you expect? All right? So whoever Allah, he want to cast him in error, he have a plan for him. He is the one who make them go in error. Do you see it? So Allah is the one who misguide. That's why I call my book The Deception of Allah, because Allah is the one who deceive. Uh, and here is a saying, you know, uh, Allah, he uh, uh, misguide the one he want. Actually, if we just take the word, the, the letter Ha here, all right, and we search for the word Yudral, we will find tens of verses saying that Allah is the one uh, who misguide and he is the one who guide. And, uh, you know, this is his job. You know, he, he just, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, misguide people. Here we go. Let us read this one. Uh, let us read any translation. All right. Here. <clears throat> if you if you go on, by the way in the Arabic uh, in the Arabic verse, all right, you will see that that the, the verse uh, uh, in, in Arabic it says really uh, things is more more like uh, firm and more clear. But in the English they make it try to make it like uh, uh, not really clear. So if you go again to the translation in verse number twenty seven, and those who disbelieve say, we why is not a sign sent down upon him? By his Lord, say surely Allah makes him who will go astray and guide himself those who he want. Like, what's wrong? Those guys are just asking you, why don't you bring us a miracle? And instead of giving the miracle, you are saying to them, you know what, anyway, Allah is the one who make you misguided. And uh, it doesn't matter, you know, Allah have a plan for you to make you misguided. So, you know, you will be misguided. Now, is that really an answer? Is that, seriously, is that an answer? Allah will make you misguided and Allah will make some um, guided? So uh, Allah is Satan. All what they are asking you is a miracle. How come Jesus may have a miracle? How come Moses have a miracle? Every prophet have a miracle except the, the prophet of the Abdul. He is out of miracles. So they are saying to him, can you give us a miracle? And look what the answer is. Very disgusting, very stupid, because simply he is in this ability. His God is shish kebab. He cannot make a miracle. So he have to say, one excuse, well, you know what, Allah misguide the one he want, and Allah guide the one he want. I thought God he guide, and shaitan is the one who misguide. Oh, no, not in Islam. In Islam, the one who misguide is Allah. He have two jobs. It's up to him. He guides some, and he misguides some. So he have two faces, a face of good and face of evil. Double standard. Uh, look at this verse. Allah, He will not guide the one He misguide. Like, oh, come on, what's wrong with you? Are you are you mental? Do you have a problem? You know. Allah yet guide not such He leave astray. He is the one who leave them astray. He is the one who leave them astray. He is the one who misguide them, and He, he is in purpose. He will not guide them. What's wrong with this God? I can show you tons of verses, okay? Uh, but the Muslims, they don't want to see the truth that their God is nothing but a deceiver. Their God is, is nothing but a Satan, you know? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, you know, uh, my chat room is open for those who want to debate me. We have a radio show. If uh, someone like Shabir Ali, he dare to invite me to his TV station, I do not need to go there. I can do it over the phone or even over Skype. If he dare to invite me, I am waiting for it. He can mute me. I cannot mute him. But do he dare to have me in his TV show? He don't. What about Zakir Naik? Do he dare? He don't. Why? Because potatoes. Cowards. You know? Those people, they are not going to destroy their career. Islam for them is a career. So if they debate me, they will lose their career. Muslims will be upset from them. They will have a bad image after that debate. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, don't forget, guys, to read my books, The Deception of Allah and uh, Quran and Science in Depth. Both they can be found in Amazon.com if you like to have some knowledge about them. Thank you. God bless.